All right, guys, here's the Blackbird again. Uh, I did crash it. I uh, took out the whole front end and had this thing in about four pieces. Uh, I was running it with the five cell battery and uh, apparently that was a little too much for my uh, up and down throws. So I didn't have enough. I was going way too fast and couldn't pull out of a dive and uh, needless to say, it uh, hit the ground at, I don't know, I don't know how fast it was, but it was, it was pretty quick. So um, went back to the drawing board on it and figured, you know, how can I give this thing some more throw? Uh, increased surface area on, uh, in the rear. So what I did, um, is, as you can see here, before, all I had was the regular Elevon control. which gave me the left, right, and up and down. So what I decided to do is I have added two additional servos uh, for my elevator. My elevator that's gonna be independent to the, uh, the rest. So as you can see here, and it's actually pretty big. So in doing this and playing around with it what I notice is look at where the prop is at look at where the prop wash ends up at right back there so in a sense I guess you can say uh, I kinda achieved uh, thrust vectoring so with playing around with it I just wanted to show you guys this because it's fully functional with the thrust vectoring so if I give it a little bit of power It actually noses up on minimal uh, throttle, so full functional on the thrust vectoring. So I'm I'm actually pretty excited to try this out. Don't know how it's going to handle. It could be a total flop, but it'll be another lesson learned. So uh, I'll keep playing around with different ideas uh, that I've got that I want to try out. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. But uh, the good thing about this is these profile foam board planes are really inexpensive if you crash them doesn't take but a couple of bucks to uh, put it back together so let's see uh, I'll give it a shot tomorrow let's see what it does so stay tuned guys